Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful's upcoming two weeks, from October 16 to October 27, Luna Nozawa will retaliate against Lee Finnegan and claim that R.G. Forrester is correct that she is capable of making her own decisions. Luna will resist Lee's requests during the week of October 16 to 20 and intend to remain at Forrester Creations. Later, in a private conversation, John Finn Finnegan will ask Lee for clarification, so he will exert pressure on her until she ultimately gives in. Will Lai reveal a long-kept family secret, as per B and B spoilers, and acknowledge that Jack Finnegan had a sexual relationship with Poppy and is the biological father of Luna. Shayla Carter will then agree to work with Paul Hollis Hollister at Il Giardino after Lai and Shayla Carter square off there. Lai will try to push Shayla too far, but despite her extreme rage, Shayla will be able to resist going over the edge. As for Brooke Logan, she will caution Deacon Sharp once more that failing to permanently discard Shayla could cost him everything that is important to him. Hope Logan will undoubtedly try to contact Deacon again, and when she does, she'll issue a threat. Hope can argue that she will cut herself out of Deacon's life if he doesn't cut Shayla out of his. Deacon will need to choose between his relationship with Sheila and his bond with Hope and his grandchildren since he cannot have both. Dr. Colin Colby will then pay a second visit to the Forrester mansion to evaluate Eric Forrester, and once the results of the subsequent tests are in, probably shed some light on his condition. Donna Logan will be devastated to learn how serious Eric's condition is, so he may regrettably receive some unfavorable updates. Eric's coughing up blood should be reported to Donna, and she might eventually learn what the official diagnosis is. Since Brooke is unaware of the bad news regarding Eric's health, she will worry for a different reason in the meantime. Brooke will continue to struggle with worries about the fashion contest and how it can harm Eric's friendship with Ridge Forrester, even if she doesn't have the full story. When he returns to Eric, he will disregard Dr. Colby's advice and continue working on his legacy collection at top speed. Nothing can stop Eric from giving this line everything he has, but if he goes overboard, he runs the chance of losing his life. Thomas Forrester and Liam Spencer will argue when Liam Spencer shows up at Forrester Creations. Once Liam is aware of Deacon's relationship with Sheila, he will likely want to get in touch with Hope, but Thomas might appear as though Hope is already receiving all the care she requires. Hope is tempted to look for a better man, but she won't be able to resist Thomas' intense love for her. Hope will hear exactly what she wants to hear from Thomas as he reaffirms his love for her. RG will find it difficult to keep Eric's identity a secret throughout the week of October 23 to 27 when Ridge and Brooke prod too much. RG will be tempted to reveal Eric's health as a result, but he might ultimately decide to honor his word. While Donna will breach her own pledge to Eric by confessing to a person she can trust, Will Donna tell Katie Logan, Heather Tom, the truth once she learns what Eric is up against? In any case, Forrester Creations will proceed with both of Eric and Ridge's Kutcher designs, and they will compete on the runway in a five-part event beginning on October 25. Countess von Frankfurt, Lauren Fenmore Baldwin, and Essa Valentine from The Young and the Restless will all be special guests at the upcoming fashion competition. According to teasers for The Bold and the Beautiful, this celebration will have some surprises, especially if Eric eventually passes out from the stress of it all. For gripping, a CDL is where you want to be. Spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful's fashion showdown. Elsa S. Nolt makes her debut as Fanny Grayson. Spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful claim that Elsa S. Nolt is joining the CBS serial opera, and will be portraying a French singer named Fanny Grayson. Fanny travels to Los Angeles in the hopes of finding a stunning Forrester original, because she turns out to enjoy the wonderful gowns from Forrester Creations. On social media, Elsa Esnault, a French actress, has been advertising her next three-episode run. 
Esnault has released a number of intriguing behind-the-scenes videos that give viewers a sneak peek at Fanny and the characters she will be engaging with. Fans of B&B &B are aware that Ridge and Eric Forrester have been preparing for the major fashion competition. Following this popular event, Eric and Ridge's respective Kucha lines will compete to see who attracts the most buyers. Given that a sneak peek video of Fanny Grayson admiring R.G. Forrester's runway performance has emerged, she will compete. I must state, in the preview clip, Fanny tells R.J., I'm not sure which designs are yours, but they are all so lovely. It's obvious that you inherited your father and grandfather's sense of style. The video also features Zend Forrester, Paris Buckingham, and Luna Nozawa, so there will be no shortage of well-known faces for this epic fashion competition. Eric, Ridge, and Brooke Logan appear to also be in on the action, so they might help Fanny realize her ambition of wearing a gown. Esnault also posed for photos at the set with Ashley Jones and Jennifer Garris, indicating that Bridget will apparently be involved in the action, possibly just in time for Eric's health problem to get worse. The sneak look indicates that Fanny will be included in the fashion competition, which will launch on October 25 and set up a five-part special event. When Fanny shows up for the showdown, it will be interesting to get to know her and see her make a big impression. Keep checking back for updates on any significant news, since the bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that as the fashion celebrations approach, more information on Elsa Esnault's role as Fanny Grayson will become available. For Sizzling Food, CDL is the place to go. Friday, October. The bold and the beautiful recap Thomas and Hope give in to passion. Finn's big surprise. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers for Friday, October 13, Brooke Logan was still in shock at Deacon Sharp's relationship with Shayla Carter and questioned Ridge Forrester's lack of shock. Ridge acknowledged that he already knew, but he added that he believed Deacon had ended his relationship with Shayla. Hope Logan questioned Ridge about how he learned about it, but Brooke also questioned his lack of communication with them. Hope countered that perhaps they could have avoided this if Ridge had disclosed his involvement with Bill Spencer earlier when Ridge revealed how Deacon assisted in having Shayla jailed. Hope urged her mother to try and encourage Deacon to open his eyes because she thought Brooke would be able to communicate with him. Ridge insisted on going with Brooke because Shayla would be there, but Brooke insisted that this ends today and went to Deacon's apartment. Deacon was concerned at home that he might have lost hope, but he reassured Shayla that life was too short to live in regrets. Sheila made a passionate effort to divert Deacon and made a suggestion that he join her in the bathroom. When Brooke and Ridge arrived, she inquired as to whether Deacon had gone insane. Brooke thought it was disgusting that Deacon would risk his life for a sociopath like Shayla Carter when all of a sudden Shayla Carter entered the room and joined the debate. Brooke threatened that Shayla would take Deacon's position, restaurant, and connection with Hope after referring to her as a monster. Deacon shouldn't allow Shayla to further the harm she has already done, Brooke urged. Ridge spoke forward and mentioned that Deacon had swore to him that he hadn't spoken to Shayla. In response, Deacon argued that Ridge had broken his word when he said he wouldn't inform anyone but Carter Walton. Deacon added that everyone deserved a chance at recovery when Shayla noted that the heart does occasionally desire what it desires. Deacon was pressured to break up with Shayla since Brooke was so pleased of everything he had done, and she told him to do it immediately. R.J. Forrester at Forrester Creations hoped that Luna Nozawa wouldn't be upset with him for what he had done. Just before John Finn Finnegan entered the design studio, Luna received updates on R.J.'s summoning of him. On Friday's B&B &B program, when Luna reminded Finn that she was his cousin, he enthusiastically embraced her. Finn was thrilled to reunite with Luna after not seeing her since elementary school and thought it was wonderful that she was employed by Forrester. Lee Finnegan, according to Luna, didn't believe so, which is why R.G. wanted to speak with him. After Luna mentioned Lai as the cause of their extended absence, she claimed Lai was overly protective of Finn. Finn felt upset by the notion that Lai hadn't been allowing Luna or Poppy to be a part of his life in Los Angeles. 
RG hoped Finn could speak to his mother because he didn't believe Lai had the authority to decide whether Luna worked at Forrester. Finn acknowledged that Lai may be a touch intense, but RJ hoped Finn could support Luna and persuade Lai. RJ emphasized that Luna was not leaving Forrester creations for the record. When they were younger, Finn was someone Luna looked up to, and she recalled watching him climb a tree in the backyard. Before giving Luna another hug and shaking RJ's hand, Finn decided to speak to his mother even though he had to go for work. Once Finn had left, Luna thanked RJ for anticipating her needs because she had been desperate to meet Finn. However, she was unable to express the same about Aunt Lei. Lai promptly arrived after RJ admitted that he had also called her since he believed Luna needed to speak with her. As a result, RJ confronted Lai and insisted that he couldn't understand why she was mistreating Luna. RG argued that Forrester Creations was his business and that Luna was welcome there, but Lee snarled that it was a family matter and none of his business. RG mentioned that Steffi Forrester would concur before adding that Ridge and Eric Forrester had already agreed. Lai said that she had written the letter of resignation and reaffirmed her intention to leave today after RG stated that Luna wouldn't be leaving. Thomas Forrester in the main office wondered what the hell Deacon was thinking and saw Hope a few times distracted as he adjusted a dress. Hope appeared uncomfortable around him because her thoughts kept going back to Finn and Brooke, who made her feel like she deserved better than Thomas. Thomas, however, reassured Hope of his love, dedication, and unwavering support, which seemed to turn Hope on since she dove in for some passionate kisses. According to teasers for... The bold and the beautiful, Hope will be torn between her need for complete commitment and her conviction that a better man might be waiting for her somewhere else. You wish to be a CDL for high. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.